stars of record-breaking musical Dirty Dancing gave around 40 students from Coppice Performing Arts School in Wensfield the time of their lives ahead of the show's run at Wolverhampton Grand Theatre next year. Uh, we've had a fantastic record-breaking first tour of the UK, and this is the second leg of our tour, and this time, luckily enough, we got to come to Wolverhampton, so we got to come to the theatre here, so we thought we'd come up and let people know that we were coming to town a bit in advance, a bit ahead of time. And uh, we usually do something, some, some launch event, and we find that, obviously, with dirty dancing, people and the popularity of dancing, that to introduce people to how we do it, and, you know, what we do and why we do it this way, um, it's usually a bit of fun. So besides just giving them the sales spiel about the fact Dirty Dancing's coming here and please buy a ticket, um, we actually think, well, okay, this is what we do and how we do it. And there are great kids here at the school, the Performing Arts School has been wonderful. There's huge energy and things. Like I said, I think I spotted a, a Dirty Dancing cast of the future today. The show, based on the iconic 1987 film starring Patrick Swayze and Jennifer Grey, hits the Wolverhampton Grand for a 19-day stint starting in September 2014. It, look, it's, it's fantastic music and it's fantastic staging and it's fantastic dancing. But actually, ultimately, you know, so lots of shows and lots of uh, you know productions have that. Um, I think what it's got in which it has a fairly unique story. And it's not just a chick flick, or it's an unusual chick flick, because, of course, we have sort of Cinderella in reverse. You know, we have a rich Cinderella goes and finds a poor Prince Charming. What is it that you would look for to make a dizzy dancer? Well, for, uh, just uh, youth, and enthusiasm, good looks, you know, all those, all those things that I guess we're always looking for all the time uh, in so many areas. But uh, for Dirty Dancing, as you say, I mean, it's pretty, pretty phenomenal. You know, the film was made for $5 million. It grossed like $185 million in its first year. Um, since we've been producing it in London, when we opened in 2006, it opened the largest advance of all time. Still is the largest advance in Western history. It opened just on 15 million pounds with just over six months of performances completely sold out. Everything that you see in the film, you see on stage. So we have a log you get, they have to bat baby and Johnny have to balance on. We have the field where they practice their lifts. We have the lake where they practice their lifts. So all those spectacular things from the film we actually put on stage. So that makes it a bit of fun as well. And it's great fun to produce. You know, there's literally, you know, so there's millions of people who've now seen it. And it's a very gratifying thing to, it's got the best finale of all time. You know, so you, you know when you find out that nobody puts baby in a corner, from then on, there's, there's nothing better.